Hi guys, welcome back to my XVS guide. Now I'm gonna review Vermilion Blade Arden. So, like you know that he is about the same like Cobalt Blade Noctis. So let's compare both of their stats. Okay, so like you can see that their stats are about the same, especially the Prefshi form. Both of them get 200% attack boost for health, defense, spirit. Arden, I can say it's a little bit better, but it is not significant. And the offensive factor is also the same. 300% jump damage boost and 150% true dual wield. So yes, exactly same. Okay, so there is nothing better or worse in terms of stats. But for passive, I can say that Arden, I prefer Arden passive a little bit better. Because first, he gets 2 fatal damage protection. While Noctis get 30% magic or physical evasion. Okay, I believe you agree with me that fatal damage protection is better than that passive. Okay, that's the good thing. And I prefer the human and fairy killer instead of undead and human killer. Okay, not sure why, but maybe it's because I play a lot of Final Fantasy games and I think. For against Undead, we simply use Phoenix Down. I know that's not true for this game, but yes, I simply state my mind, okay? And yes, basically, that's it. The same about Noctis, okay? That's for the stats. Now, let's take a look on the normal form. So, for normal form, he is a Stardust Ray Chainer. It is exactly the same like Noctis, but the difference is... Yes, he used Dark Element instead of Light. The damage modifier is same. 36 times AoE Dark Element with Dark Imbue for 5 turns and 2 Physical Evasion. Okay, so like you can see here that yes, I can say that you you don't need that 30% Physical Evasion okay, for Noctis because he can imbue himself with Physical Evasion. And for non-elemental damage, he can use 72 times Stardust Ray Chain with 120% Dark Imperil. So here, like you can see, it's same like, again, same like Noctis. Nothing special, 72 times the average number you get from Chainer. And this is where Ardyn is worse than Noctis, okay? For cooldown ability, Ardyn inflict 100% disease to all enemies. And like you know that this is, yes, some enemies, uh, I mean, some trials have weakness against disease, but for most case, ailments are useless. Okay, so that way, I think Noctis cooldown ability is better because Noctis cooldown ability can give your party 250% all stats buff. Okay, so it's more applicable for more situation. For killer he gets 150% failure killer. Okay, I cannot say which one is good, but yes, basically the same number, 150%. Also, the Greenish ability is also same, 90 times Stardust Ray Chain non-elemental damage to single target. Okay, so exactly the same. And the Limit Burst, okay, it's also the same. Okay, 100 times physical damage with 25% Sword Imperil for 5 turns. So yes, the only different and probably the thing that make this one better or worse maybe is this one only 9 hits attack. So if you want to use this as a finisher, then I can guess this deal more last hit damage because has few hits, okay, fewer hits. But again, if you use it to chain with duplicate, then Noctis Limit Burst is better because it has more hits, which means higher elemental chain count, okay? And yeah, basically that's not that important. The point to use this Limit Burst is to get that 25% sword in peril, okay? Not for the damage. This is simply a setup for his privacy form, which is also about the same like Noctis. So let's take a look on it. For Brave Shift, so I thought they gonna make him into exactly same like Noctis with different element. But it turns out they do it 
something a little bit creative here okay they improve the turn delay of course it is one turn delay versus two turns delay on japan but instead of changing light to dark uh, i mean noctis light to ardent dark element they make ardent jump into non-elemental so first of all i cannot say this one is bad okay because sure it deals lower damage than noctis but this jump being non-elemental that means you can easily change the element the way you want okay you can simply bring like madam idol neo vision to make him into earth jumper so yes basically he gets more he's more flexible than noctis okay but for the damage like you can see here i do simple damage modifier calculation assuming you able to get a hundred percent jump damage boost the maximum jump damage you can get on this game ardin can deal 747 times versus noctis 900 times so it's clear here noctis is more powerful and remember they are true dual wield characters which means they do this jump twice okay so yes the damage will be even bigger when you factor something like killer and imperil okay so what i want to say here is yeah i really cannot say ardin is worse than noctis in terms of damage yes but in terms of flexibility of course ardin gonna win but the point here is here okay on dark vision you can always force noctis to deal damage okay even when the enemy i mean even on let's say you use light element on fire stage as long as the enemy doesn't have that light resist okay but because remember that if you use ardin you need to change his element ardin element to change with uh, match element the point here is yes ardin gonna get 20 percent damage boost but because noctis damage modifier is also better than ardin then maybe okay maybe the damage difference is not that huge okay unless of course the enemy have light resist in that case ardin is totally awesome but the point here is even when ardin is not as powerful as cobalt blade noctis he is still way much more powerful compared to our normal finisher okay let's say like akstar and cleom because remember this jump happened twice because you are true double characters let's compare his jump damage against his limit press so most physical finisher gets like 125 times damage modifier okay so even if you able to max ardent limit burst damage passive 300 percent and get let's say let's say 150 percent for ardent so with 450 percent limit burst damage boost ardent only deal about 700 times damage and remember your lb only happen once so like you can see that jump damage ardent jump damage easily outclass all physical uh, physical lb finisher we have gotten until right now okay so yes ardin is awesome okay so don't think oh he's he deals more he's he deals less damage than cobalt blade noctis he's trash not he's not okay i can say that in terms of damage modifier ardin is probably the second best physical finisher at this point of the game okay and because of flexibility you can use him more on dark vision which is a good thing i can say okay so if you ask me okay if you ask me which one i prefer which one you're gonna choose if gumi gives you one i will choose ardin okay so that's it for the prep form now let's talk about equipment so for equipment it is exactly same like cobalt blade noctis you need that ultima blade plus five okay if you have two of them wow okay 
Ultima Blade plus 5 is insane. 350 static attack. That gonna make your audience can reach like 6,000 attack. Awesome. Okay, so yes, for me, for me, I able to get two Ultima Blade. Okay, but the point is I don't have Arden, so that's kind of disappointing. But again, Ultima Blade is probably the best weapon at this point of the game, even if you don't have Arden at Noctis, because it has the highest attack stats on this game at this point, so amazing. And for the Trust Master Reward, I can say that Arden Trust Master Reward is not that important as Noctis. Remember that for Noctis, that 10% light damage boost is important because his jump is light element. So if you want to do first turn jump, you can go immediately with Noctis. But for Arden, remember that this Trust Master Reward boosts dark damage. But Arden, but Arden jump is not dark element so you still gonna need a setup right either from himself using ability and get dark imbue for other characters like madam idol neo vision okay and yeah the goal is make sure you have a hundred percent jump damage maximum gain damage to increase the damage and make sure also you get a killer and i think for attack and true dual wield you won't have a problem because he already gets like 200% attack boost and yes remember you also get 80% from his uh, from his vision card okay so it's not that hard to max that jump damage if you have that Riberta STMR I know but Riberta STMR is insanely good guys okay so if you have Riberta and Ardin or Noctis I think it's totally worth to use your STMR Moogle to get that so that's for equipment my conclusion for Arden So like I said that I prefer Arden more than Noctis because he is a flexible jumper Sure Noctis deal more damage and you can force your wear your way on Dark vision, but again against trial when the enemy li have like 200% light resist, 100% light resist, you cannot really force your way on that case, okay? On that kind of situation, Arden gonna be better than Cobalt Blade Noctis. And I think the Fatal Damage Protection is much better than half as Evasion, okay? I don't think 30% Magic Evasion gonna help you. And 30% Physical Evasion, if you really need 100% Physical Evasion, then you can get it from equipment i guess sure it make things easier but i think fatal damage protection is better on most situation okay and yes based on my calculation on base damage modifier then yes ardin deal like 17 percent less damage modifier compared to knock test okay one 1,800 versus 1,400 one, About 1,500, okay, so about 17 to 20% less But still, because of flexibility I prefer Arden Okay, that's just me, okay, I don't say Whoa, Noctis is stress. If you have Noctis, then I don't see any reason for you to get this Arden But if you feel like, damn, I miss Noctis and this Arden is interesting because he is not restricted to any element then you can try to get Arden because he's a nice character okay I believe you can use him for a long time okay and yes his vision card is also good because it gives you 80% sword attack boost so even if you don't use Arden I believe this vision card can be used in the future or even at this point because yes many characters use sword as their main weapon so I think that's all you need to know about Vermilion Blade Arden. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy Private Spheres Guide. Bye bye guys.